Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Now today is the 16th of August 2022. It is a Tuesday, the day of Mars, the day of action, the day of implementation, the day of the god of war. <laughs> I do love Mars. I've got a little affinity with Mars so yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that maybe in some of my past lives I had a lot of um, army or physical things happening. Definitely got a got a little little love for that. Um, but uh, you know, it's interesting with Mercury and Virgo trining Uranus and Taurus today because this is a really good day for you to maybe do something like training for you to um, do some kind of exercise, some routine that is going to enrich your body. Mercury in Virgo is exalted. Um, so um, anything that's going to help you communicate in the form of a routine with yourself or with others um, that is going to be like gearing towards the well-being of, of both parties, particularly yourself, you know, um, is going to be really beneficial today. It may be also good to seek out somebody that, um, you know, if, if you've been looking at a particular teacher or a particular class, like say you want to do yoga class or something, yeah, that might be something to um, look at. That might be something to, to, to look at today. Um, also, it's going to really help you to not be stressed out you know just help you go on your day-to-day -day, uh with a little bit more um you know clarity and peace exercise and um connection with the body is so important um for us to be able to do that um because stress can really hold itself within the body um i definitely have seen that in my past um, with my own body and I'm sure I'll see it in the future we, we just know it regularly I think it's it's about consistent maintenance really so once we get those routines into plan into into action and going on a consistent basis then we can really help ourselves good transit today but anyway um I shall shuffle the cards um the I'm reading with the Mystic Mondays Tarot. I'll be clarifying with the Oracle of Colour or the Colour Oracle. And let's get on with today's reading. Thank you to all of my um, my subscribers. Um, those of you who are commenting and continuing the conversation, is it's just amazing. I'm really enjoying it. Really, really, really enjoying it. You really make my day. Um, and thank you so much to, for watching. Okay. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords. Interesting. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Devil reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. God, wow, that's quite intense, isn't it? Um, wow. Love the way the magician just popped out just then, right? Wow, what a reading already. Okay. So let's just check something. We've got the moon upright, the devil reversed, the magician upright, the tower reversed, ten of wands, the ten of swords, the eight of wands reversed, the princess of swords, which is the page of swords reversed, the seven of pentacles reversed, and then we've also got the king of swords. I think that 
this King of Swords character is really interesting. I'm 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 fluctuating between a person or a or a bottom of the deck energy is the five of cups reversed. Interesting. Okay, right. So yeah, I'm, it's, it's almost like the attitude that needs to be kind of taken with this situation with the King of Swords. King of Swords, and look, interesting how I was talking about battle. I didn't really notice that, actually. Um, he's got armor on. Um, and it's really interesting, because in this deck, I haven't really paid too much attention to the Kings, particularly the King of Swords. I don't think I've really got it that often in this deck. Whereas the other kings are very different, like the king of, like the king of uh, cups is he looks like Poseidon, he looks like Neptune, whereas this actually looks like almost like a gladiator type character. Um, so it is something about battle. There is something there, um, and making sure that you're battle ready. Um, something has something has come to some kind of like new cycle um not majorly because the ten of wands is and the ten of swords they're both the right way up so when i see that it's almost like you're still in the place of it ending like it hasn't ended you just you are in the process of it ending what the situation is it's something that you've been walking away from I think it's something quite major because we've got four um, quite strong um, major arcanas here. But we do also have the tower here as well. Um, and the tower is reversed. So this this kind of reaffirms why I don't think it's over. Um, also, there's unfinished business. There's unfinished business here. Um Eight of Wands, it's it's moving fast again. I'm just getting this sense of moving fast, but it's kind of not. Like, it's almost like it's appeared really fast. Um, but then it's moving slowly, so to speak. Um, sorry, excuse me, my darlings. Um, so, and with this Seven of Pentacles, it reaffirms that, you know, there's been something that you've you've had, um, but now it's time to move on or something, you know, you, you're wanting, you were like seven of pentacles. I see as clearing the soil, you know, for, you know, you, 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 you're like, okay, this was the first harvest and it wasn't that great. And now I've got to clear the soil and now move on. It's interesting how we also have, yeah, we do have numbers that are later on in the deck apart from the magician. The magician is the ability to go through this cycle and to understand this cycle like a farmer, like somebody who understands the moon cycles and understands that if they plant something now, it's not going to sprout up tomorrow. They have to plan to plant something for, say, maybe in three, four months time when they know that that it, it, that's the whole thing about planting. So, you know. Not thinking that things are going to be coming immediately, but thinking how things are going to plan, pan out for the future. Um, the moon kind of gives me the idea that this is something that is unknown, but it's almost like... This is so beautiful, this moon. Isn't it gorgeous? She's on an iceberg, so the iceberg won't last, but when, when you're out at night like that, it's cold, you know? It's cooler, so you know you've got a certain amount of time to be able to, like to be able to to see what's going on. So it seems like you've got something that you're planning. You've got something that you're planning that you're manifesting, essentially. And you're walking away from something that you were trapped in. The Ten of Wands um, seems to me that you, you, you're still going on with it. There's still unfinished business here with these two here. Like you haven't completely walked away from it. I've got the windows closed, so I'm yawning. I'm sorry, but I can't. The noise is just too much. Um, and with the Ten of Swords, it's something that's giving you a lot of pain. Uh, something that that's really, you know, that that you know, it's it's been alright, but and 
it's it's kind of mediocre actually to be honest with you you know it's been nice but um that's all you're going to get you know you're not going to really get anything else so but with the princess of swords the king of swords i'm seeing as the actual overall um as the overall kind of uh flavor let's say but with the princess of swords here it's almost like it's a choice to face it as well this is a choice to face it. Also, I don't feel like you'll be telling many people about this. I don't feel that, you know, with this page, with with the Princess of Swords reversed, I don't think you will, because I think there's a possibility that you may think that, that what you're saying may not be accepted or it may not be, may not be uh, looked upon as the right decision. People will think you're misfiring or not looking. Um, so, yeah. Bear with me, my friends. I have a friend that's come to visit me in the form of a fly. The fly may continue to join us for the reading. Um, that's perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> Dear spirit, what messages would you like to communicate? Ooh, two, look at that. They're all flying out today. It's really lovely. I like it when they do that. Consciousness. Anxiety. Yeah, of course. Of course. Consciousness, because this is something about you. <laughs> it's this relationship that we have with what we don't know about. Um, you know, we can only be conscious of so much. And we continu continually are being conscious. Um, and we're finding out things every day. We're working out things every day. We're, um, we're learning new things every, th every day. Um, so it's a process. This is such a process, actually, this, this reading. It's about, it's about processing, <laughs> this reading. Um, and anxiety is going to be a, you know, a big part of it. Anxiety is about worry about the future. Worry is worrying about the past. So anxiety, so there is, because you don't know, there's something very unexpected about this, like you don't know, you really don't know. And it's not, it's not in a negative way, like people are scheming, it's about you making a decision and you don't know what the future is. It's like you're walking the path in the dark. And all you have is the light of the moon, thank God, to like reflect from the sun. Yeah, the anxiety comes from the tower reversed and the ten of wands because, and also, you know, residue from the ten of swords. It's, it's, of course, because you're going to be worried about whether or not you're making the right decision or not. Um, but I think you are. I think you really are because um, the magician is there and also the devil reversed. You're walking away from something that trapped you, that enslaved you. I'm just trying to think, is there any other messages? On a different level, it could be a father and daughter relationship, I think. Um, and also um, moving away from a certain situation. Um, and with what I've said, it's, it's pretty much within that, you know, starting again, trying to start somewhere. Maybe the relationship wasn't too great. Um, you've also got the, yeah, just kind of starting again. It could even be that they've moved to another place or something like that. <laughs> I don't see like um, 
It could even be a child. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a daughter. Um, but because they're both swords, I just think that maybe they might be like, yeah, maybe a father and a child scenario. But I don't really see a person with this card. I see a person here. And I see a person here. But I think these two are the same. And I think that this also is more of the more of the flavor, as I mentioned. Um, any other messages, Spirit? Oh, this is really, really... You know, it's the one thing, right? I hate telling people not to worry because it's the one thing that they end up doing. But really, this is what it's saying. Well, then what would be more useful would be if you are worrying, just become aware of it and understand that it's not useful. I think that's what it is. What is the most useful emotion that you can experience right now? And yes, you do feel anxious, you do feel worried. And that's why doing something like exercise is fantastic. And routine is fantastic for anxiety. Virgo, um, which we have Mercury and Virgo, has a massive tendency to be full of anxiety <laughs> and I have loads of planets in Virgo you know so um you know I know I know many Virgos that that do go through like quite high states of anxiety so for them to make sure that they're not anxious is to occupy their minds with something and physical exercise and getting into your body is a really good way of doing it so that would be my advice for this to navigate this transition if wonderful reading um, if you did like this reading, please do like it, give it a thumbs up and please do um, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, so that you know when I upload. But otherwise, thank you so much for your support and for watching and have a beautiful day. Take care, my darlings. Bye.